everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout using the July Valley High Studio Calico kit from uh, Studio Calico. And this layout took me 57 minutes to complete. And it's the 18th layout using the Studio Calico kit. And I'm literally down to pieces of scraps. And actually everything that I'm using today is all the second sheet of pattern paper because I always buy the add-on pattern paper and the more pattern paper. But I really love these pattern papers so I didn't want to... Um, they were cut up so I wanted to use them and not throw them out. And as I'm doing the recording for this I already have three other pages done with this kit and the fourth one is on deck. So that's the next thing I'm going to do um, once I'm done recording this is I'm going to work on that last final layout and I can say that with confidence because I will have no papers left. I have, I have used up all the scraps from everything. I'm just going to have little strips, I'm sure, by the time I'm done, which is good. That's the way I want it. So this uh, pattern paper with the pink, I only have a little bit left. So I'm going to uh, punch out some circles from this pattern paper. And this triangle paper is my favorite pattern paper that was in this month's kit. So I want to make sure that all I have is those two little pieces left and I want to make sure that I use them. And I know to the left of the picture, I want to put a journaling block there. Now, this is a freckled fawn stamp that came um, in one of the embellishment kits. And uh, it came with the same embellishment kit that the metal leaves came in. So I, I knew I wanted to use one of those on this layout and cut it in three. And then I'm going to stamp that stamp three times. And I'm going to use that white ink from Close to My Heart. And it's a craft ink and I really love it. So I'm going to make sure I stamp it down really well. And I'm going to stamp it in two other areas. And again, it kind of mimics that metal leafy thing that I'm going to put on later. And I love, love it so much that... Um, it only came with four in the kit and what I'm doing is every time I use it on layout I cut it in two or three pieces because I really don't want to waste it. I want to use it as much as I can. What I should have done is when uh, my freckled fawn in the new kit I should have seen if they had any left and ordered some more because I really like them. So I'm going to put the third one and you can tell I went okay there's one there one now at the bottom left where would the third one look good? So again, you're looking to make a triangle. So I'm going to go to the top left of the layout. I'm just rearranging everything the way that I thought I wanted it. And this picture is um, at the Ripley's, believe it or not, in Niagara Falls. And there was this robot there. And... Um, I don't know if it's because of the pink wall in behind or anyway, it just made me think of girl power. You know, I said to, to Katie, I said, uh, this is a girl robot. <laughs> so I just, I just wanted to, to do a page that said girl power. And it looks like I walked away. So if you want to see some still pictures, you can go to Two Peas in a Bucket or Studio Calico in the Members Gallery and look for Nicole Jones 911. Or you can join me on Facebook. The link is in the description and also on Pinterest. And that link is on um, the tab that has your the picture at the, just above the, the videos and also in the About tab. And you just clink, clink, <laughs> click on the link and uh, it'll bring you to Pinterest. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter, and I think uh, Twitter's already linked to my YouTube. I'm not sure, but everything is Nicole Jones 911. 
So I'm I'm uploading some still pictures to all these all these places. Now I'm going to mat that photo on a light color pink cardstock and I'm using my ATG gun and my pref preferred uh, ink or adhesive is my ATG gun and also my Scotch quick dry adhesive and I do like to use also some foam tape and that's also from Scotch and it's Scotch 3M. So most of the time those are the three and Okay, I kind of noticed that maybe the recording had stopped, so I stopped it and I was right, it had stopped. So also another adhesive that I really like is the American Craft This to That Dot Adhesive, and I use it for my twine when I want to do loop-de-loops. And now I'm feeling good with the placement of the papers, and none of these papers I really had to cut down. I just used it in the size that it was. Now maybe some of them I straightened them out because they were crooked because... I probably on another layout just use my scissors to cut them out and now I'm ready like I said to glue everything down I want to use some of that washi it's one of my favorite washies right now it's pink and clear and it really coordinated with this collection of papers really well so I'm going to put it in three areas and then there's that metal little embellishment that I was talking about. So I'm going to take my Tim Holtz scissors and I'm going to cut it down in three pieces just so that I can maximize the use of that embellishment. That way with four, I can actually put it on four different. So, okay, I restarted my computer because it was stopping every one minute or so and I had to really watch it. So hopefully this works. So what I was saying was with uh, those four embellishments that way I can get four pages done with it and I took out some gray buttons that we got in this month's kit and I'm looking at the brads that were from the travel girl collection that we got in this month's kit and I really um, want to finish that package but I'm not going to get to use it on this layout I want to put some journaling to the left of the photo And I've had to redo this recording so much. I don't know if it got erased or it never got recorded. That the reason for that photo is it reminded me of a girl robot. And then I thought of girl power. And that's going to be the title of this page. To glue down the embellishment, the metal embellishment, I use a glue that's called Quick Grip. And I got it at Michael's. And it works really well. You just have to watch it because it oozes. And so don't be over your photo when you open the cap. And then always make sure to clean the cap once you're done. Or your cap will glue to your to the, to the glue. And you won't be able, able to open it. Now I'm going through my tiny word stickers. And I use my EK Success powder tool to take away the stickiness. And the words that I chose for this time is ingen ingenious, carefree, and ambitious. And that's for, you know, girl power. And most, most of the teams for cheerleading is, I'd say, 99% girls. And even on their team, there's only one guy. And um, so that's where the girl power kind of came in. I tried to use these gray foam letters that we got in this month's kit but they were just too big i want to use the pink letters that we got in last month's kit but there's no r's so i can't use those ones and then i'm just going to go to my stash at one point and right now i'm just trying to figure out is there any letters in there that i can maybe you know switch the letter so that it looks like an r and then i'm just like oh forget it I'm just going to go to my stash and these are rubber ones and I absolutely love them. They're called Begonia. So I'm going to spell out girl with that and then I have them also in gray. I bought them myself and I think I got them in two different kits. <laughs> so I have three or four packages of these gray ones. So I need to start using them anyway. 
So the title is going to be Girl Power. And then I'm going to notice that that um, place where I want to journal, the sheet is, is just too small. I want to use a leftover, but I'm going to have to cut into the second sheet of pattern paper. And it just means that I'm going to use it up because I love that pattern paper and I'm going to use it up on every other layout that comes up to make sure that I don't throw it out. I want to make sure it, you know, lives on a layout. So I'm going to glue that down. And then the title is going to be at the top of the journaling spot. And then I'm going to journal underneath. I have three more layouts that are completely done. I just need to upload them to iMovie and do um, the voiceovers. And I have a page that's on deck, I call. Uh, it means that I took the rest of the pattern papers and they're just sitting there and that's the next thing I'm going to work on. And then I'm going to be done. I'm going to hopefully film my Kellicut video tomorrow. And it might be a few days before you see it because I have like four or five layouts to, to upload. But it just means that I'll be able to upload one one video a day for a long time because even though I can't record if I can get ahead like this then I can stay ahead of the game so I'm just doing the voiceover and everything just getting them ready and then they're ready to to be uploaded which I'd rather than you know rushing through it and I'm also working on my December daily too so now I'm going to thread those buttons and I'm just using a white it's not a thread, it's um, it's a crochet thread. Well, it's a thread. It's just thicker than, you know, the thread that you would put in your sewing machine. Now I'm going to take some pink and gray enamel dots and spread them around the layout. And these enamel dots are from Teresa Collins. And I love using enamel dots now. It just seems that I can't um, I can't finish a layout unless I spread some of those across the, the layout. And I don't know what else is left to do. I think it's pretty much done. I'm going to add some gray twine in three spots. I'm just going to wrap it around itself. and put it in each cluster. And then I'm going to take my Scotch quick dry adhesive and make little puddles of glue. And I'm going to stick them down. And this was a really, really quick layout. It was under an hour and it was done. And I'm liking that I'm using every bit of, you know, scrap that there is now I'm going to put my layout on a Studio Calico bag and I'm going to try a lot of different white inks. I'm going to do the Studio Calico white and then I'm going to do the Heidi Swap. And this is the Heidi Swap and it has a kind of a shimmer. And then I'm also going to do, um, and then I got a, a pink glimmer glaze because on the gray it was really hard for me to see the colors. And then I'm going to take an October afternoon, an October afternoon white, and it's called chalk ink. And that's it. I'm going to show you a few close ups and a few still pictures. And the page is done. So thanks for watching. Bye.